And what's going on? This has got two doors in it. It's actually got three doors. Three doors. I'm this sorry. is one of our cabin class airplanes, you might say, in that this is a design that evolved from the four seat Jabiru. So it's got all the room in the world in the back seat, but since say the SLSA rule only calls for two seats, we've got a lot of room for luggage, maybe a pet, depending on what'll fit back there. But you've got another door of easy access to it, which is really a neat feature. This is the only airplane in the segment that has this quality to it. And this is another one with that sports car feel to it. Yeah, doesn't it look nice inside here? Very comfortable. One of the things I like about this airplane in particular is that it's got an armrest for the control stick. Some airplanes make you sort of hang your hand up in the air. This one gives you a nice support, but look at that stick. That's a little different than what we usually see. You might call it a Y stick or a U stick, but it's one central control, easily accessed by both occupants, but in a training environment, the instructor's right there with you on the joystick. Now, control-wise, is this got a steerable nose wheel on it, or...? operated by brakes. This is used as it has steerable nose wheel on it but also has a center brake. This handle in the center here which has a parking brake feature if you look at this little tab up to the front here allows you to put it in a park situation while you're uh, perhaps doing an engine run up or just parking the airplane for uh, a ramp uh, refueling exercise or something like that. Is this airplane equipped with flaps then? Yeah this uses an electrical flap system the flap motor is housed up here in the uh, uh, overhead but the flap switch directly above the left hand throttle. You notice you've got throttles on both sides in this airplane too. It's another neat feature about it, especially for an instructional airplane. Flap switch up here, flaps up, flaps down, all by an electric motor. And then I understand that they actually built an engine in order to build this airplane, is that correct? You know, I think, Dave, it's the only airplane I know of anywhere in any class that has both an engine and an airframe made under the same brand. And indeed, this Jabiru airplane uses the Jabiru engine. It's available with the 2200 and the 3300, which is an 80 or 85 or 120 horsepower variant. And with the 120 horsepower variant at least, this thing will cruise kind of like the Lightning right there at the top of the LSA category, 120 knots, 138 miles an hour. Now with the storage capacity and everything that this airplane's got, it must make a great cross-country flyer, but what kind of uh, durations or distances could you travel? Well, for one, it holds a lot of fuel. It holds 36 gallons of fuel, and it burns about five, six gallons an hour, depending on exactly how you're operating it. So that's going to translate to seven or 800 miles of distance. Frankly, more than I care to go on a single stretch, but some folks love that, and they'll love this airplane for that reason. Now, have you also done a report on this one, Dan? I have gotten to fly this and a couple of the other variations. There's a 170 version of this, too, that's a smaller two-seater model. They're both available on my website, bydanjohnson.com.